What's up some fans around the world and welcome back to another video. So this is a really 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 important video for this whole rear wheel drive build. So I have done, you could probably tell by the dirt in my face, but I have done like three hours of work in the garage without filming because before I had like a gorilla pod so I can film on the floor but uh, it's broken and I haven't done this work before so I just put my effort into getting the job done and I have something really exciting to show you guys so a while back when I started this video series I told you about this that a very very kind hand gave me some of the prototype from Saabs so this is the upper control arm from the rear so now I have removed the original and you can tell by the bend how much like space this is taking and how much more space the prototype will will make for an eventual drive shaft so now I have removed everything and I've got the exhaust out and I've got the rear axle out. It wasn't too hard but it's a pretty messy job but it's done. So now we have it out of the way. Next to fix is this uh, is to remove the fuel tank but I just need to empty it out from some of the fuel because if you check here the fuel tank is definitely in the way for a drive shaft but otherwise the tunnel is just perfect it's centered and it's pretty high up into the chassis so it will work perfect but the fuel tank needs to come off and we are going to to change this to the to the Opel Omega Vauxhall Omega tank that sits in the rear where the spare wheel is currently hiding or should be hiding so this will be cut away and the fuel cap is actually at the exact same spot on the 9.5 and the Opel so it's just to remove this piping and attach the new one that goes to the tank maybe we need to cut some of the metal out but the tank will sit like right here so it will more or less be like a bolt-on solution but the most exciting thing is what I have here so this is the Saab rear axle or the rear subframe and now I have just placed it under it's not perfectly centered it should be a little bit more to the right but don't care about that care about this this is the OEM side where you can see the upper control arm it's bent like a banana and you can't fit anything in between and on the wheel hub you have like the ABS sensor in the middle and you have the brake line coming through but on the other side I've just attached the prototype upper controller and look at this now it doesn't sit at the correct height but it's so good the length of the axle is just perfect because on the Opel Omega which I will get the parts from there is like a, a hub that sits on the inside pushing this out a little bit and since I said it needs to be a little bit more to the right to be like perfectly centered and I will cut the subframe up so so the differential sits a little bit higher up 
and I will make reinforcements like going out so we can attach the differential and I'm gonna make them super super sturdy so we will make like strong reinforcements to this subframe holding the differential and also create some extra stability for the subframe in total and on the other side you have an extra like attachment for the differential so we will have to remove this and relocate the I can't find a word for it but strut brace or something like that um, so we can attach this but if this sits a little bit higher this will go so perfect into the tunnel with the, with the crank and everything so I'm just I'm over the moon because this has been my biggest worry since I got the parts we did some measuring just just laying underneath the saw and the opal and we thought yeah it might fit but up until today it has been so uncertain but now I know for sure with a little bit of work this will work just perfect and I got an uh, extra tip from one of you readers not readers but subscribers uh, shout out to you it so much help because the lower control arm is uh, manufactured by a company named Moog M O O G uh, and it's uh, adjustable like this one so the lower control arm will be a little bit more skinny and it, it will be able to to adjust it so we can adjust like camber and get the perfect like ride quality so if this isn't just perfect we can adjust it a little bit so I have my hopes up this will work fantastic and I'm just so tired and excuse me for this video without like doing some actual work but I felt like I just needed to get this out to you guys that follow the build that support the channel and uh, this is a big big step of course it's not done yet but just see that it fits inside of the frame is just mind-blowing this will be so so epic and I can just update you on the on the pistons while I have you here so the other ones laid in the bath for like one more day and they came out perfect they are like brand new so that's a really good choice here we have the soup and we can use it for other parts later on but man now I just need to get some rest in I hope you like this short little update and I hope that I have shared my like my excitement for this because this is so so cool that this actually will work so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next one please subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me have a nice one bye